Hello everyone and welcome back to Jurassic Park Builder where we are looking at so many dinosaur eggs. Look, we have two little eggs for our velociraptors right here. We've got an egg right here. Look at that awesome little stone nest it's in. Probably not the best place to have an egg. Probably why it looks like it's cracking. And then we've got, let's see, you were an egg and I accidentally clicked on you, huh buddy? But he's ready to evolve again anyway. And then little guy is ready to hatch out of his evolutionary egg. Tracy is an egg. Look at her cute little ferns. Tracy's probably much better off than everybody else. Up here, we've got the Ankylosaurus in an egg too. And then let's see, yep, you're in an egg. We basically have eggs everywhere to celebrate the fact it's Easter. It's dinosaur Easter. <laughs> so I have been working for several days to kind of get everybody leveled up and uh, I wanted to try to have as many eggs as possible and he was an egg just recently and I accidentally clicked on him so that was totally like I was like oh man because we've got one two three four five six eggs right now and I thought that was a huge accomplishment and it is almost all thanks to these guys over here our Pachycephalosaurus and our Brontosaurus for being a dinosaur that doesn't actually exist our Bronte has been absolutely freaking amazing for us she has been I'm gonna name her her name is pebbles by the way I decided to name her pebbles after like bam bam and pebbles from the Flintstones and she is one heck of a fighter I cannot wait to see what it is like to have this Bronte like fully leveled up because wow oh look at her chew her fight ah why is that so cute it is ridiculously cute though all right so eggs everywhere it's like dinosaur egg bonanza dinosaur eggs all over the place Happy Easter, guys! So let's crack these eggs open and see what is hiding inside. So we'll go down one by one. Let's do this guy first. Ready? One, or three, two, one. And smack it gently with a hammer and run for it. Boom! Ah, oh, Mossback! I'm still going to call you Mossback even though... Oh, he looks like he has a giant oversized head for that body. Man, I would love to know a little bit more... You awesome people who can tell me more about this guy and why the head seems so large on the model. Is that actually how it is with the fossil record? Look at him. Look at him. I love it. I love it. How are you feeling? Oh, he's feeling good. Mossback was stuck in that egg for quite a while, so he's probably happy to be out. And then down here... All right, you ready? The Velociraptor pack is ready to be unleashed. You guys have been coming up with really awesome names. I just haven't quite found one yet. And I might have to relook over all the names that like rings out and makes me go, yes, name the Velociraptors that. So we're gonna see what happens, but let's go ahead. Three, two, one, and then I don't know if you should play it out or run for it. Not sure which the Velociraptors will try to eat you with. Boom. Yeah, more stripes. They're looking awesome. Look at you guys! I'm gonna be making so much more money. Ah, ah! He's like, hey, hey, that's my tail. You can't chew on my tail. You made me my sibling, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you. So the Velociraptor pack is doing great. So is the pizza, the pizza diner. Just so you guys know. Ah, uh, look at those guys, checking each other out again. Territorial. It's like watching my birds. Honestly, it really is. Same sort of mimicking behaviors. All right, let's move over here. And how is our North Carolina uh, butcher doing? Who's not actually, don't mix it up. That isn't the actual dinosaur we're using. Woo, look at more crocodilian. Woo, yay, we leveled up. And we got a couple bucks. <gasps> more plants! Okay, I will be looking at those in just a bit later, dude. I don't want to raid it right now. I'm busy. I'm busy. Ooh, look at that amazing jaw structure. I love that. All right. Oh, man, and more plants to put down. All right, I already hatched you. All right, time to hatch little guy. Oh, little guy, you're still so little. You're still so teensy. And your fierceness, he's still not a, much of a fighter, but that's okay. Speaking of not much of a fighter, I spoil Tracy, even though it sends some of you guys up the wall, because come on, she's the first thing you see. You come in the Jurassic Park gate, and you're impressed by the beautiful, amazing, see, you, you come in, you're impressed by our amazing waterfall, and then you come over here, and the very first thing peering at you from through these ferns that you're going to see is Tracy. And then you're going to come over here and you're going to be like, bam, look at that beautiful Triceratops. I mean, how could you not be enchanted with her? Look at her beautiful coloring. Tracy, how are you doing, sweetie? Oh, she looks so relieved to be out of that egg. She's just like, wow, look at me go. So I like spoiling her. 
And I love museums. I want like a bazillion museums in here. All right, so we've got one last dino- Oh, the Bronte is chewing its foot again. That is so funny. Or is it itchy? Can you imagine trying to get that thing to lift its foot so you could inspect for like if it has any thorns or something stuck in there? How would you even do that? I mean, these are practical zoo maintenance thoughts we have to have here. Say your brontosaurus has like a hurt foot. It's hard enough to get a horse, even with machinery, to lift its like its its foot up so you can inspect it. I can't even imagine what it would be like. Wow. Wow. If you guys have ideas, let me know. How would you inspect the foot of a brontosaurus? How do they do it for elephants? We need to find out how they inspect the feet of elephants and then take whatever machine they use, whatever training they use, and multiply it by several more tons. So that's, that's definitely um, a thought experiment there that we should participate in. So last one out. Oh, Mossback, you look so happy to be out stretching yourself getting out oh so cool last one out is going to be the Ankylosaurus. boom oh you don't have any little spikies yet you're still just a little one huh still just a little one let's give you some food so this one's still nice and young um i thought it would have spikes like some of the ones we fought in the wild but not yet it seems not yet oh my gosh also mossback how you doing buddy who should i Feed. Everybody's hatched again. It's been so long. It's been like several days of everyone just stuck inside their little shells. There we go. Alright, fed moss back. I think that was a good move. And I've actually been saving up tons of money so we can go down to the deep sea kelp abyss and we can actually try to complete some of those projects. Uh, like getting ourselves. Oh, look at that. Like getting ourselves uh, one of the the only creature that we've got down there. So I'm gonna pop over to Aquatic and let's see if we can finally afford being able to put down and expand and see what else is hiding under this open expansive ocean. I'll meet you guys in the submarine in just a second. And we are down here and look at this dude. Who are you? What are you? It's like a giant salamander. It's precious. I just wanna hug it. Is this the new giant salamander that they just released like information on? Did, did the team just like jump on top of that that article, that science article that just came out about a really, really big, like I think, what was it, like 12 foot salamander, prehistoric salamander? I wonder if that's who this guy is, because the name looks very familiar. That's amazing. How much would he be? What? DNA sample not found. What? No, it's the last day. What will we do? What will we do? I don't know what we'll do, but we need to put the dunk suck the, the, the little donkeys, the little armor fish down. Oh my gosh, there's like no room. Yeah, all right, let's put you right there. All right, she's excited. Dad would kill me if you found out I'm driving the sub. I don't honestly feel safe with a child driving my submarine. Thank you very much. Oh, well, let's kickstart this baby and see what she can do. Hang on. Uh, place seven tracks. Okay, oh, oh, she's just driving the tracks. That's fine then. Oh, expedition team has returned. No, dude, you need to find... Ugh. Uh, dude, that's way too expensive. No way, look at me. You're making me, like, say dude a million times. That's fine. We'll have to just pass up on the giant salamander. <gasps> look at those eggs! Ah, oh, no way! Check those eggs out. Oh, that's so cool. Inspiration, 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 as Klaus would say, um, for like how I want the underwater area to look. Like I totally love this. Oh man, I love this look with the little tubing. I love this dome look. Like I, I used to think I wanted it to be just glass domes, but now I really feel like I want the Underwater Research Center to mo look more like this, where maybe it has like some proper stories and everything, but that'll have to be like the bigger Underwater Research Center. I think in zoo crafting, we're just going to start with, because I use this game as inspiration for our Minecraft zoo crafting series to rebuild these things. And I think we're going to have to start with a sm smaller one and then build this huge one uh, in the future. All right, and let's clear this out. Did we find anything? I guess we have to like remove- oh wow, look we have to re re specifically remove these plants. I didn't even see them. So let's clean all these out. And let's put down some tracks. 
see, one, two, three, four, five, six, come on. And then we're just gonna turn around. There we go, mission complete, woohoo! Okay, so we just went on a joyride with the kid. This is awesome, okay, watch me bank around this building now. Uh-oh, place a museum. Place a green seaweed and place a museum is what they want us to do down here. And these are almost done, actually, so we'll just stick around in here in case we find the DNA sample. Man, this place is expensive. All right, let's place a little green seaweed right there. Mm -hmm. Love it. Awesome. We introduce our lady friend here to her new exhibit. Uh, get ready to release the last specimen on my mark. What specimen? I just placed it. That man's silly. All right, how much would the museum down here be? Where is it? Abyss Museum. Holy moly, kid. You want to use up all my money? The observation deck is really cool, but that museum. Oh, that's really cool looking. I'm going to be honest. Come on, DNA. Nope, no such luck. What about you, Rock? How long are you going to take to be a rock? Oh, 30 minutes? What? All right, all right, all right. I, I've heard... I've heard tale that it takes a while down here. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and activate these a little bit, I guess. Just because I think that would be a good thing to do. And I guess we'll go ahead, and this time around we're going to place the museum, even though it's going to like use up all my money. Just because it's a really freaking cool museum, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's awesome! Alright, there. I placed it. It's gonna take forever to build, and now we're broke. So, I will meet you guys over at the Wild Battlegrounds, and we will see what our newly evolved dinosaurs have hiding up their sleeves. Oh, man. <laughs> our brontosaurus kind of outstrips everybody. Look at this. Pebbles is carrying, like, 220 team ferocity. She can just own these guys, and I'm gonna let her... Uh, cause really no one else is even close. We're gonna go ahead and use up some of our fangs so that we can dive into this battle and hopefully get like some really great stuff as a result. Alright. First time we fought this guy, let's see if our attacks are any good or if charging is just gonna make it like dive into the air. That would suck. Oh, well that was a good attack. Oh, and it swapped out. Yes! Very good. Alright, special attack. Allosaurus. We haven't had an Allosaurus yet. Boom. Get out of here, dude. Good amount of damage to him, too. We're going to block. Alright, and then... Try charging. Damn! Oh, fudge. That did nothing. Alright, so charging doesn't work very well on this guy. Let's try swiping. Swipe him out of the sky, Pebbles. Wow, that was effective. More effective, I think, than the actual fight. So, huh. And we're actually going to block because I don't want to take, like, I want to take the absolute minimum of damage while we're here. Uh, to get this Ankylosaurus out of here. Let's try charging. Oh, dang. Pebbles, you have one heck of a, a stomp. I'm going to say it. All right, good. She's not taking too much damage. I hope her foot feels better. Maybe if she rubs her foot on this Ankylosaurus, she'll feel a little bit better. All right, charge. Boom! I don't know why Pebbles would have to be so aggressive, but she is. Like, aggressive to this guy makes sense. Oh, Padunky. Padunky. We're gonna get you, dude. Uh, charge? Oh, yeah. Yay, Pebbles! Yay! We had to use some fangage, but it was okay. What? What? No! Ah, those two little smacks took away our, our gold medal, like, winnings? That sucks. Oh well, at least we know Pebbles can, like, kind of start to, to take over the level 16 area. Oh my gosh, and it gets, just gets tougher and tougher. And I guess the only option is to just keep leveling everybody, right? So that's what we're trying to do. Who should we fight next? The thing is, none of our animals are really, I think, up to it to take on, like, a team that, that, that is, like, that fierce on their own. So maybe if I... I'm going to line up my team. Let's see if we can do this. I've, I usually just go for the lower level ones, but we're going to try this. Oh, you do have spikes! 
Our little ankylosaurus does have spikes. All right, swap him with that tail. Right in the face. Oh my gosh, one KO hit. That's fantastic. How are you going to take the Spinosaurus? Not well, apparently. Okay, that's fine. Let's do a little special attack. All right, go get him, Coconut. I don't know if you're Coco or not, but go get him. Oh my gosh, that Spinosaurus is pretty tough. All right, try to bear with this. I want to see how well you take it. Okay, he's kind of a tough nut. Let's see if we can crack him. Nut, go! I'm going to say that this is Nut and the other one was Coco. And... Dangerous. Dangerous indeed. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> we may have been off slightly more than we could chew. I'll admit it. Let's try charging. Yeah, that does nothing. That does nothing. Block, block, block. Okay, that was a useless block because now we're back here. Oh, look! Nut! Nut! Charged! You can have the satisfaction of taking this guy down! Sweet! Um... Oh! Dang it, I missed the block. Oh, what? A bite? What are you? A nimnut? Alright, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, uh... Charge? This thing's a brick wall! Uh, uh... Bite me again. No, 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 no. Oh, dang it. I'm sorry, Coco. I'm sorry, Nut. All right, we're just going to finish this. Um, even if it's going to chew up a lot of our stuff. All right, go get him. I still don't have a good name for you yet. Oh, thank goodness. Maybe we just needed a good meat eater to fight the, the breaky. Man. Look at this. This is so sad. <laughs> Oh dear, that was a bad battle. So I'm going to stick to the smaller boring battles that you guys probably don't want to watch for now. Tracy only ever gets to play in the baby area in like 1 and 2. I don't let her go very far outside of her comfort zone. But now everybody's here. Oh, we got a ton of money. Yes, we got a ton of money. We got a ton of money. And actually, I'm going to wait till we have at least a couple hundred thousand. Uh, but I would love... Oh wait, nope, stop it. Ah, dang it. If this tournament thing would stop fussing with me, because I don't think... Yeah, everyone says we're not nearly ready for tournaments. And that's because we just have, like, weak old baby dinosaurs. They're just little guys right now. Go away, tournament thing. There we go. Alright. I want another museum, because museums are awesome. And we have a lodge now. So let's see if we can complete some of our missions. Uh, and I do want to evolve pebbles. But I want to wait till we have like a couple hundred thousand, I think. Which I've never had more than like 30,000 before. But again, that's because we're new at this. I'm not worried. Alright, let's feed Moss back. Here you go, Moss back. Go ahead and level up. Uh, and actually, I think that you'd be a good fighter if we leveled you up. At least of, of the dinosaurs we have to choose from. Alright, so let's see what missions we've got. Buy one small prawn to pr prove we can increase the landscaping budget. <gasps> That's right, I have new flowers out of my way. Where's my new plants? <sighs> small pond. What? I have to spend bucks to complete, like, a thing? That sucks. Impact crater, blue flower patch, purple flowers. Oh, a small marsh. Oh my gosh, carnivorous mix. Mm, so awesome. I love new decoration pieces. All right, so apparently we have to buy this small pond, even though it costs me bucks. So that makes me unhappy. Pretty darn unhappy, not gonna lie. Uh, we're gonna decline that right now. Uh, let's move this. Can we, like, move the... Yeah, look at this. Tracy, you're so spoiled. You know that, Tracy? Yeah, she's spoiled. That's okay. We love her. So let's buy this small pond to complete that quest. Kind of get that out of the way. Can it fit right here? It sure can. And boom, boom, boom. There we go. Alright, mission complete. At least it only cost us two bucks. Uh, collect 3,500 coins from the dinosaurs. No problem. Buy one purple cyad so we can have the latest in dinosaur theme park decorations. Also because it's good for the dinosaurs, Kidlet. You got it. We got a teacher. We got a teacher. Uh, clearly she is under supervised. And we need to take her under our wing and make sure that she doesn't get herself killed. Alright, let's see. Where should I put this? Uh, not with Tracy. She's kind of spoiled rotten as it is. Um, it would be nice to be able to give it to them. Uh, for now, 
For now, ugh, why can I not put this here? Okay, for now we're just gonna put it over here. Boom. Alright, there you go, kidlet. You need to be good. Vibrant garden community. Good. We'll have to keep an eye on her. We'll keep her busy gardening. Would you mind showing me how to collect 800 meat for mill time? Can you feed the carnivores three times? I promise they'll stay out of the way. You better, kid. 3,000 coins from the dinosaurs. We're on that. Have an infirmary. I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. Uh, so let's go ahead. Where is my infirmary? Museum. Itinerary. Infirmary. We've got the money to be able to afford. Oh, it's tiny! Tiny, tiny, tiny. I didn't realize the infirmary would be so small. Um, I don't want to alarm people, so we're going to keep it kind of over in this corner. Got to wait for it to finish. All right, what else? Buy five decorations, no problem. Sell two buildings to make room for new security towers. Place two new security towers. Somebody sounds like he's getting a little bit, uh, let's sell the saber tooth thingy doodle. And let's sell the little water pump thingy doodle. And then let's put down two more security towers, just because somebody's getting a little bit restless, I think. He's getting a little nervous. All right, put that one over here. And we'll put another one over by the lodge, just to make sure people aren't dumb and try to sneak out in the middle of the night and get eaten by my dinos. All right, so we need to buy three more decorations and then just collect coins from the dinosaurs other than the harbor. All right, let's get this activated. You're activated, you're activated. Can we upgrade both of them? Nope. Uh, yes, but I better wait because I need the, the meat. And... Doo -doo -doo. Can I get another museum? I could. I could get another museum. No, I can't! Dang it! I just barely, barely lost enough that I can't get another museum. That sucks. Oh, well. Um, hmm. We can't get any of you cool guys. Can't get you yet. Eventually we'll be able to get that guy. Uh, can't find... Oh, let's expand! Let's ex expand so we can see if we can find some more amber. So I think we're going to expand over, like, and here next. There we go. All right. And I think that does it. So now we just kind of have to sit around because we don't have enough uh, time, like, between picking up the stuff yet. All right. Yeah, everybody's okay. Everybody's okay. Noisy. There you go, Tracy. She's like, you woke me from my nap. She's so cute. But yeah, everyone looks like they're doing okay. We're, we're going to have to just save up for a while before we can evolve Pebbles, I think. Because I think she's going to cost us an arm and a leg. All right, guys. So there we go. Happy Easter. Happy Dino Easter. We hatched our dino eggs and it was really cool. And we have some aquatic eggs to hatch next time and a really cool aquatic museum that we're building. And I will see you guys next time as we continue. I, I'm beginning to realize that this is like a long term investment. There are people who've been playing for years. Someone commented and she was like, I've been playing for years and I haven't gotten a brontosaurus. I've just been playing with the end game currency that I've won from going through the wilds. And that's what it got me. So I'm pretty, pretty happy. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great time. Go hatch some dino eggs of your own. And I'll see you guys next time here at our little corner of Jurassic Park. Bye-bye, guys.